Next, I want to show you the Elmore James turnaround, which is a standard turnaround in open D tuning. And most of his songs, in one form or another, feature this turnaround. Or something very close to it. And all I'm doing here, this is an easy one to play. I'm using my second finger on the third fret of the fifth string. And I'm picking and then getting the first string, even the part of the second string. You're just moving that third fret, second fret, and then open. So that turn around. One more time. A lot of times, if you listen, he wraps it up with something like, or he'll slide. This is an old country blues type thing. He's going to slide from the second fret to the fourth fret on the sixth fret, and then the open A, and the A is your five chord. So that works as your turnaround. So you get a shuffle. Let's go from the five to the four to the one, and you get something like this. Right there at the end, I threw in a chord with my five. And when you're playing in open D tuning, this right here is an A, seventh chord. And what I've done is got my first finger on the first fret of the third string, my second finger is on the second fret of the fourth string, and my pinky, or I'm sorry, my ring finger is on the second fret of the first string. So this is a... A7. Now if you take that shape and move everything over a string, so your second finger is now on the second fret of the fifth string. Whoops. Let me do that again. So you just actually, you just move, yeah, you move, let's try that again. You start from here, move your ring finger over to the second fret of the second string, first finger, right where it was, and then your fourth, second finger comes to the second fret of the fifth string. That's your G, G7. That's an open D tuning. Now when you play Elmore James stuff, come trying to think about it here, I don't think you use that four chord much. He does something else when he gets over the four if he wants to play a chord. But when you do those turnarounds, you can throw in that chord if you want to. So, that's the second idea from Elmore James' playing. The first idea is the rhythm pattern. And then when he gets to the end of a verse. And I think that's Elmore playing that. I don't think that's the rhythm guitar that plays that turnaround. But again, I could be wrong. The third idea, before we get into the slide playing, is uh, some of the bass runs that Elmore would do. And if you're playing in open D tuning, if you listen to a lot of Elmore James stuff, you hear him messing around in this area on the bass strings, playing licks like this. You know, all kinds of stuff. And basically you've got your three open strings, fourth, fifth, and sixth, that can all be played. And you've got the second fret of the fifth string. 2nd fret of the 4th string, and you can slide to the 4th fret of the 4th string. And since that's a D, you can play that as your low, so licks like that you hear him do all the time. There's a great instrumental tune called Pickin' the Blues, where he does a lot of this bass stuff. And there are several of his songs where he goes into these bass runs as fills or he uses them as turnarounds at the end of a verse. So one more time, where can we play? All three open strings, four, five, and six, second fret, fifth and fourth string, fourth fret of the fourth string. So it's like this. play this three, third fret of the sixth string if you want it. So listen to some Elmore and you hear stuff. You know, all 
all kinds of cool little bass runs like that. So that's the third idea from Elmore Games is playing. And now, if I'm not mistaken, we're ready to start talking about some slide playing.